Take two. So I'm obviously too drunk to be able to come up with a complete sentence before I forget what I'm talking about. The biggest problem I see right now is that the politicians, and this even gets down to the local politicians, they honestly just get into a bureaucratic nightmare, a bureaucratic sense that, oh, here's the laws of the land, and we've got to live by these laws of the land. We cannot even, we can't rock the boat. We cannot even look into them and try to look at what the negative realizations of these laws might be kind of bring to the people that are um, living in these communities, myself included. And I live in a small community. I live in a very small community. And we've, we've got a uh, mayor here who is unwilling to help. Um, you know, I asked him, I asked him for help. I asked him for some questions on some weird new rules that they laid down instead of actually like telling me you know, like, helping me out I said hey if you're not the right person to ask who do I need to reach out to please help me find these people didn't maybe word in that exact manner but I asked for help in it and he said sorry you need to figure this out on your own is this normal for even small town where we're looking out, you know, re reaching out to our local community leaders and they just tell us to figure it out on our own? What is, what is the reason they are here? Why are they even here? If, if we just need to figure out everything on our own, why do they even have a position in the position they have? At the very least, they could be courteous and say, hey, I understand what it is that you're looking for. Why don't you, um, this, this isn't in my purview. Why don't you reach out to this person or this person? In my town, there's two email addresses. And I reached out to both of those email addresses of the town I live in. And one didn't respond and the other, the mayor told me to figure it out on my own. So th this is getting to the point where I, I believe that bureaucracy has truly taken over um, bureaucracy has taken over the, the way that we actually live our lives like it, it's not even like it's not even about like law or even though I don't believe in law and I'm tangenting hardcore but it's not even about what we all thought was the norm back in the day everybody is just so quick to always um, pass pass it on to somebody else to try to say it's not my responsibility it's this resp th this person's th this organization or this bureaucracy's responsibility to, to actually answer your question the biggest problem I see is that, that all of these bureaucracies all kind of work I don't know if it's by design or if it's just negligence or if it's just idiocy but they all are um, they are they don't want to actually solve anything the local governments are more 
um, or uh, I mean, even I mean, you can t start from the top, but even if you get down to the local, they just want their tiny little governmental bureaucracy in which oh, I'm mayor, I am a secretary, I am whatever else is in governments these days i don't even fucking know and because it's become so bloated it doesn't even matter anymore does anybody know do you know like seriously do you know how these all work and they operate in these weird bylaws and like i i looked up the um the 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 actual duties the r and r of the mayor and it's so ridiculous the R and R of a mayor, it's like, oh, once a month you have to hold a meeting. Um, you need to make sure that you meet with this person on this day, or you know, you probably make it up yourself. But you know, once once a month you do this. It's like it, it, the the mayor rules and reg like roles and responsibilities are like this much. It's like nothing. Like they don't even do anything what is the purpose this, this is kind of driving me into a very cynical and i've always been cynical but it's driving me into a more cynical view of what government really is here and what it's for I see a lot of deflection and I see these these government officials instead of answering questions being transparent about what it is that they're trying to do they always try to all of them and all of them do this it's not even just like one or the other not even just like to the top of the Biden, of course, Biden fucking sucks and Trump sucked and Schiff sucks and Nancy Pelosi sucks. You know, it has nothing to do with like the individual actors in this. It's all of them. As soon as you get into this like political regime, you know, even AOC, AOC, she had, she was nothing before she got into, um, the the realm of this political theater um but they don't answer questions you're asked a very direct question and instead of actually digging down and answering it from your from what it is you in your mind and your and your heart because you got to have both you know, you can't have just the mind or the heart. You need a mixture of both. Or else you're either going to go the way of communism or, well, when I say communism, I just mean um, the governmental structure of communism. Communism, in my opinion, actually works well if you really, if you want to go the anarchy route. Um, but you either go the feel-good, gotta uh, placate, um, bleeding heart kind of idea um, or you go just the complete mentality of I am your ruler I I know best for what it is that you want to do and you will follow me or you will die but the transparency Transparency is really what is the most critical for us to start really pushing forward to and leaning on. We need, we need for all of the people that want to feel they're in charge of our lives. I mean, these people think they are. I mean, I, I challenge everybody out there. I challenge you all think about no government honestly we can do this without those people 
they need us. We don't need them. But if we are to follow them, we are to be under that, you know, normal regime. Why are we not demanding more transparency from them? Whenever, whenever there's the one of these amazing hearings that you know keep happening all around us, why are we not demanding that they answer the fucking questions that are being asked of of them? It'll be a simple question, like even just the stupid shit from the the Supreme Court justice recently. You know, can you define woman? And they're like, oh, I can't define that. Or from, you know, any of these ridiculous political witch trials that are happening right now. And you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not a, like a huge Trumpy. I don't, I mean, I, I like him more than Biden, but... Like all these witch trials against Trump, where there, you know, a simple question is being asked, and instead of actually giving a fact of the matter, here is the answer that I agree with, and this is my belief on this fact, on what I believe is fact. They will <laughs> these political figures just dance around and around and around um they'll be asked a very direct question yes or no and they'll be like they'll they'll say how well well the um uh the facts that, that you will see coming are going to truly change your mind and will show you what's going to happen even though they could have fucking told you these things and i'm now i'm starting to ramble drunk but <sighs> we need to we need to start thinking more critically. We need to start left and right. I'm not against anybody. I fucking love life. Life is is amazing. Um, this world is amazing. And I hate that governments are destroying this beauty that we know. I mean, how long have you lived on this planet? Do, do you remember? Remember? Remember berries? But do you remember whenever even the left and the right got along? We had different ideas and we debated them civilly. I'm, I'm disgusted with the way that we have transformed civil debate into malicious disobedience. I mean, why does anybody think it's acceptable to destroy something or steal from something i don't care how rich the corporation is or how powerful you think they are why is it acceptable to steal from them if you're upset about if you know if one is upset about x why do you attack y 
I mean, obviously, I don't think you should even attack X. But at least talk to X. I'm very worried for... for the state of this country and frankly the world things have seemed to have gotten completely out of hand yeah, this is this is boring I know everybody you think it's boring. Or maybe you don't. I believe in a free world. I believe that we all need to live our own lives. I believe that we need no government. I believe that we need to fulfill our own desires and freedoms. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It only matters what you think. And you know that. And you know that. And you know that. We all know this. Nobody... Nobody cares about law. Like seriously, do do you do you seriously care about law? Shh, you know, on a very small scale. Stop signs. Do you stop at them completely? Speed limits. Do you always go thirty five and a thirty five? And if you do, you know, I mean, I commend you. Actually, I, I pretty much do. But that's just because that's what I feel comfortable with. And everybody does what they feel comfortable doing. You know, we're all going to kind of do our own, our own thing. And laws are not compelling us to do those other things. Like, if you, if you truly wanted to murder somebody... Is that law going to stop you from doing that? I mean, think, you know, seriously, think about it. If you truly, and, and I, I mean that as a, a very large, um, uh, just the, the uh, absurdity of it, you know, the most absurd thing you can think of you know if there's something that you want to do you're gonna do law doesn't matter you're you're gonna be willing to take those chances so now i'm kind of now i'm definitely rambling What I think we all need to do, this is just my opinion, and I know I'm wrong, definitely wrong, but we just need to take like John Lennon's thought, but not his overall point. love you know we, we truly just need to be free we need to be free in this world without law because the law doesn't dictate what we do law is just a tax on us that's all that law is and and if you want to get to the bottom of it i mean the rich don't the elite they don't follow those laws they do whatever they want But we need to be free, but we need to love, you know, 
I'm not religious, but uh, I completely agree with the Catholic faith. And that's probably the same basis for pretty much all the other faiths out there. You know, be peaceful. Be peaceful with everybody around you. And, and I mean, you don't need to love everybody, but just have love in your heart. You know, you just treat everybody with respect. If you disagree with them, that's f totally fine. You can disagree with people, but don't be hateful about it. Just say, brother, I disagree with you, and let's have the, let's either I'm walking away now, or um, let's try to go in this direction, or let's take this conversation another day. But don't ever hold hate. <laughs> And there's no point for hating or distrust or um, distastefulness. You know, I mean, we're all here on this earth. We're all equal. The humans, the animals, insects, I know they're animals too, but um, the trees, the sponges, that's actually a different kingdom, I do believe. I could be wrong, but I do believe it is. But we all need to just, like, be peaceful with ourselves first. Peaceful with ourselves first. And then peaceful with, with the rest of life second. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know of any other way to really make this world a better place. But we need to stop fighting with each other. Everybody is different and we need to actually like celebrate those differences. Um, but not like glorify those differences at the same time. You know, like celebrate, but don't glorify. You know, just because you're gay or trans or what else? Oh, if you're black or if you're Indian or whatever. I mean, that like those are like irrelevancies that don't even matter. You know, don't worry. We, we, we shouldn't be worrying about those minor differences. We all have like in the genetic code of humanity. <laughs> We all have it. It exists within us. Um, we just need to look at that and, and be happy about it. I mean, be happy that we're different and be happy we got the sameness between us. Uh, I mean, there's even between like a, a black and a white person, we're not that much different. <laughs> it's just the skin color. Nobody cares anymore. Stop pretending that this matters, that you're gay. Oh, great, you're gay. Okay, cool. Awesome. I, I didn't know before and I don't care now. It's, it's, it's honestly irrelevant. As long as you're a nice person, as long as you can just like chat with me and you don't care that I, ch that I say something offensive because offensive um uh, offensiality is that a word but anyway being offensive is a very subjective thing and what one person thinks is offensive another person doesn't so the uh, the offensive you know being rude uh, being rude can be a different thing i suppose but like being offensive, like if you just say, stop being a fag, bruh, or girl, or whatever. I don't know, would you ever say that? Don't be a fag, girl. I don't think you would. <laughs> but um, that, that that's kind of the irrelevancy that people get hung up on these days that really bothers me. I, I like pine for the day 
hoped it we could all be six years old again and watching Scooby-Doo cartoons and watching you know, Hasbro commercials on the screen. I know that's, I know that's like cliche and, and that's all corporate nonsense, but I don't like where we've gotten to. Like, we can fight against corporations, but why do we fight against each other? You see just so much hatefulness in this world that's not really relevant. And I just wish it would, I, if, if I had one wish, it would be to just, I wish that all of this just the hatred, the, like the desire to destroy was at least quelled. If, I mean, it would be a, you'd have to have the most miraculous wish to make it all gone. But at least it's quelled. And we're, you know, I don't know, just at least, at least like we can talk to one another and debate with one another without getting mad about language, which is one of the most free things we can do. You know, we can have complete disagreements about something, but we don't get mad at each other. We have our own mind and we and just like kind of, I hate the agree to disagree statement, but at the very least, just, just I say my point, you say your point, and we're completely off base on, with one another. We're not on the same wavelength whatsoever, but we're still friends. It's like, cool i still love um pink floyd and flaming lips and king gizzard you know like that like our kind of political ideology doesn't interfere with our just funness for music or living outside and making fires and building camps and Just talking about life. Yeah, well, I've, I've rambled on long enough and this is obviously a terrible quality. So I hope, I just hope that somebody out there, you know, is kind of on this wavelength and this is what I like to drive to. Just peace, harmony, love, art, music, mathematics, science. True science, not the science. But just peace within ourselves and freedom within ourselves to make our own decisions up. And to be ourselves as free as we can without fear. Peace, love, 